Are you taking a picture of the sun with your phone? Mm -hmm. Does it look terrible? Yeah. Do you find yourself asking, there, there has, has to, to be, be a, a better, better way. way? What you need is a solar filter for your phone. Mm -hmm. Here, put this around your phone and take a mm -hmm. picture now. Okay, let's try it. Wow. This must cost a million dollars. Not even close. You can make this at home with everyday items. All you need to buy is a cheap ISO certified solar filter. No way. Show me how. Just by looking at this thing, you can probably figure out how I cut this up, how I glued it together, how I fitted it. But I'm going to do a really quick overview of the materials I used, how I cut it up, and I put this together just to give you an idea of how I did it, if you're interested. And if you watch my video on how to create a solar filter hat for your telescope, the idea is absolutely the same. But the stakes for a filter for a cell phone is much lower. You can buy ready-made solar filters for your cell phone, like this one on Agena Astro, manufactured by American Paper Optics. It velcros onto your phone and works really well. Link to that in the description below if you want to go that route. So far, these are the only ones that I saw that I would recommend purchasing. I saw a few more on the internet that I would really highly advise against. So be careful about what you buy so that you don't end up damaging your equipment or yourself. Making your own is super easy. The only thing you really need to buy is a solar sheet, like this four inch one for $9 on a Gina Astro. And you can cut it up to make a dozen or more filters for your phone or even a couple for your telescope. So for the cardboard or stock paper or construction paper, uh, if you're using something that's pretty thin, I would recommend using something that's darker in color so that it prevents sunlight from bleeding through and causing a glow around the sun, which will kill some of the contrast that you can see with your phone. For something thick like this, this is fairly thick, you can go as light as you want. Uh, what you can do is hold this up against a really bright light or hold it up against the sun and see if you can see the sunlight going through. All right, let me show you how I made this thing. First, cut your cardboard or construction paper slightly larger than your phone. And then use a pen or pencil to mark an outline of your phone to help guide the next cut. Do your best to estimate where the cameras are. Make another line here. Then use scissors or a utility knife to cut the hole. Be careful. And then you want to make sure that the cameras are visible on the other side. So it doesn't have to be a perfect cut, but as long as the camera is visible, you're fine. And then you can make some creases on the paper by bending it around your phone. Don't make the folds too sharp. And then we can straighten it back out. And now we're ready to install our solar sheet. So after you get your solar sheet, you want to cut a piece that's larger than the hole. This will make sure it blocks any light leaking through. If you have a silver black polymer like this film, you want to make sure that the silver is on the outside. Then get some glue stick or any kind of glue and glue the edges of the hole. And with the silver side out, gently press the film down. Nitrile gloves here is a good idea, but a little smudging is fine. And just make sure not to damage the film during this process. Then curve the paper back around your phone again. And this time, use some tape to hold down the folds in place. Again, make sure you don't tear the film when bending. Taking a closer look at the case, you can see that the film itself is curved and there are no sharp bends. It's also large enough that any sunlight coming through the other end doesn't make it through the camera sensor. And the phone slides right in with ease. So I took this outside and here are a few test shots at different ISO and exposures in pro mode. The very small focal length prevents sharper details. Going in for a digital zoom is not the same as an optical zoom, so of course the closer I get into the sun, the blurrier it looks, but that's expected with a cell phone. And I have to admit that using something like this is much easier than trying to hold up a pair of solar eclipse glasses in front of your camera to try and take a picture of the sun. It prevents light leaks into your sensor and it just feels a lot easier to do. The way I did it is just the easy way of doing it. You can do it any way you'd like. You can just create a flat piece of cardboard with a hole in it and clip it onto your phone with a, with a clothes clip or something. And these are super easy to make. I already made three. I'm planning on making another five or six for all the people that are traveling with me to Texas on April. Uh, so I'll be giving them out to, the, to my friends and family who'll be with me so that they can take pictures with their cell phones. And as I mentioned earlier, doing it with a cell phone is pretty low stakes. So if you're doing this with 
for a telescope or binoculars, be careful that you're not damaging the eclipse filter because you don't want any kind of sunlight leaking through to your eyes or to your equipment. So if you made something like this for your cell phone, let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Stay tuned for more information on the solar eclipse classes that I'm planning on giving away in a couple of weeks for the April 8th eclipse. I hope you'll join me on our next astronomy adventure. Clear skies.